the marina operator should have arrangements for when inbound vessels need to abort due to adverse weather is forecast, delays with operations on the berth or other unforeseen circumstances. These arrangements include standby berths, sheltered anchorages and storm moorings. Every berthing and mooring operation should be taken seriously and planned. Contingency plans should also be made. These should be followed in the event of a steering or engine malfunction or an emergency on board. Contingency plans should include identifying possible abort points and safe beaching areas. In an unfamiliar marina, try to get an inspection of your intended berth from trusted source beforehand if possible. Call the port for traffic, weather, sea conditions. If possible and deemed necessary, do a sail B to inspect berth. Prepare and communicate the berthing plan to your crew, with due regard to obstructions, depths, wind, current. Prepare an abort plan. While they are called pleasure craft, no boat operator's pleasure should be at the expense of anybody else's safety and well-being. For that reason, speed limits should be observed in marinas. Let's look at some unberthing scenarios. In this one, the boat is berthed portside alongside a key. The wind is blowing off the berth, that is favorable. We can release the head or bow lines while holding on to the stern line. When the bow is sufficiently clear, release the stern line. Ensure that stern line is on board before engaging the engine ahead. In this scenario, the wind or current is on the bow. Run at a spring line from aft, if you did not have one before. Release the forward lines and the stern line. Hold on to the spring from aft. The wind or current acts like a wedge between the boat and the jetty and the bow comes off the berth. Engage the engine ahead and release and take in the spring line quickly. In this scenario, the wind or current is from the stern. Run at a spring line from the bow, if you did not have one before. Release the stern lines and the bow line, hold on to the spring from the bow. The wind or current acts like a wedge between the boat and the jetty and the stern comes off the berth. We can engage the engine astern gently and back out of berth, stern to the wind. In this scenario, the current is on the bow and a gentle breeze pushing the boat onto the berth. Run at a spring line from aft, if you did not have one before. Release the forward lines and the stern line, hold on to the spring from aft. Provided the mooring equipment on the boat and the berth are in good condition, this time, we have to overcome that wind holding the boat on the berth. If we put the engine's astern gently and the bow comes off the berth, if the wind is not too strong. In this scenario, the current is on the stern and a moderate breeze pushing the boat onto the berth. Run at a spring line from the bow, if you did not have one before. Release the aft lines and the bow line, hold on to the bow spring. Provided the mooring equipment on the boat and the berth are in good condition, we turn the helm toward the berth and give a kick ahead on the engine to prise the stern off the berth. When the stern is sufficiently clear, put the engine astern and back out of the berth. If strong onshore winds are forecast or anticipated, we can drop the anchor of the berth when we berth, then heave on it to pull the bow of the boat off the berth. When it is time to unberth, be sure to adequately fender the port side of the stern. Professional mariners always prefer berthing the boat with the bow into the stronger of the wind or the current. If we have to berth with the wind or current astern, we make sure the fenders and mooring lines are prepared in advance. Send a line ashore at the first opportunity and move the line to the stern on the boat. Make a turn around the cleat or ballers on the boat and prepare to check the boat's forward movement in the wind. If we have to berth with the wind blowing offshore, we make sure the fenders and mooring lines are prepared in advance. Send a line ashore at the first opportunity and move the line to the bow on the boat. Make a turn around the cleat or ballers on the boat and prepare to check the boat's forward movement as the helmsman tries to bring the stern alongside by turning the helm to starboard and applying a kick ahead on the engine. If we have to berth with the wind blowing on shore, we make sure the fenders and mooring lines are prepared in advance. We get parallel to the berth and allow the wind to push the boat onto the berth.